What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. Hi, my Cherry Blossoms. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're hearing my voice and you're seeing my hands and you're interested in videos about money, business, and motivation, join the family, join the team, and hit that subscribe button, okay? We have fun with our finances over here. All right, so today I am here with a monthly sinking funds update. We have officially ended March and we are now in April. Happy April, you guys. Let me know down in the comments below what are some of your goals for the month of April. All right, so closing out March, I'm going to be counting up all of my sinking funds and see how much I was able to save in the month of March, see how much I was able to increase my sinking funds by and so on for it. If you are new here, you will know that I started over in Jan was it January? It was February. I started over my sinking funds and all of my envelopes and categories and everything in February. So it's very, very exciting for me to just getting back into the swing of things and coming back and updating. This is great for those of you who are just starting as well. You know you got a buddy here, okay? Let's save this money together. So I will be updating you on these categories right here. I do have more categories that I stuff, but I do not include those in my sinking funds update because I am in and out of those categories all the time. And honestly, it makes no sense for me to track them every month. I just track how much I put in and how much I take out. So before we get into this, my cherry blossoms, I do have a little bit of housekeeping slash announcements that I want to get to. And I think this is the approach I will take in every video to do like housekeeping in the beginning of the video and then jump into the topic at hand. So first things first, my cherry blossoms. If you don't know and you didn't see my post here, your girl now has a join feature on my channel. So my cherry blossoms, by joining my channel, it allows you to connect with me beyond cash stuffing. Yes, I know I'm all about saving that money, honey, and things of that nature, but the name of my channel is Life of Cherry, and I want to give you the life of me. Now, I'm not going to give you every single intimate detail of my life, but there is more to me than cash stuffing, and by joining my membership, you will get cherry beyond cash stuffing and budgeting okay some of the things that i do want to get into behind the scenes is relationship topics and videos parenting there are a lot of you who are out here that are parents who are single parents i want to talk about how to elevate yourself how to level up in life i want to get into topics about everyday you know things that we may go through mental health issues and so on for it so if you're here for it Boo, join the membership now, okay? Some of the features of joining the membership is that you'll get to connect with me on a more intimate and personal level. You will get exclusive content. So on my main channel, Life of Cherry, I'm sticking to thinking fun updates and cash stuffings. Nothing more, nothing less, okay? But behind the scenes, it's going down. You're going to get Cherry 2.0 raw and uncut so you will get exclusive videos exclusive content i will be doing all of my live streams over there and i will be adding a feature where i'm when i'm going live you guys can actually go live with me so we can talk about we can talk about stuff in real life you know one-on-one -on -one. so i will be doing all of my live videos over there okay you will get a badge next to your name in the comments so they know it is real okay there are three different levels, so you can choose exactly how much of me you want. Like, you know, I do like Cherry a little bit, so let me let me join this level. You know what? I'm all in, boo. Let me join the top level here. So you get to choose how much of me you want, okay? And also, something cool about joining the membership is that you will get discounted merchandise. So everything that I have in my Etsy shop, Life of Cherry, you will receive a coupon code for it, or you may just get a, a discount on it when you order from, from the shop. I'm super excited about the join feature. There is already some content up there. And once I get a certain amount of members, then I will start going live and doing all of those fun behind the scenes things that I know you all will enjoy. So if you are here 
for the life part, okay, of Life of Cherry, then join me over in my memberships and let's get this party going. Okay, my Cherry Blossoms. So the second thing I want to get to for housekeeping is I have some new items that will be dropping in my shop this Monday, okay? This Monday, I will be having some new items in my shop and let me just show you them really quickly. Here we have these new savings challenges that will come laminated that will fit inside of an A6 binder and will have the holes on it. So this right here is my travel savings challenge. Where we going, boo? Where we going? You choose how much each one is worth and how much you want to save in total. This right here is the 100 envelope challenge. Someone asked me, they're like, Cherry, are you ever going to do the 100 envelope challenge? You should do it. It'll be so much fun. And I was like, Err! no, no, thank you. I'm good on this one right now. But I did create one for those of you who are interested in doing it. Just because I'm choosing not to do this challenge now doesn't mean in the future I'll never get to it. Maybe in a month, maybe in a year, maybe in five years. Who knows? But right now, I'm not interested in doing this challenge. But for those of you who are... I got you. I got you. Next, we have the car maintenance challenge. You choose how much each vehicle is worth and you choose how much each, um, I guess that's like the wrench, the wrench, the wrench, right? It's called a wrench. No, it's a wrench, bitch. It's a wrench. <laughs> you choose how much the wrench and screwdriver is going to be worth. And the last challenge that I will be adding is the home is where the heart is challenge. And you know, you make your house your home. The love you put into it fixing it up and things of that nature so the home is what a heart is challenge is super cute and i love it these four challenges will be dropping on monday in my etsy shop and i will have the pdf version of these as well so this is the 100 envelope challenge this is the travel savings challenge the car maintenance savings challenge and the home is where the heart is savings challenge so if you are interested in any of these challenges Get ready because Monday they will be dropping. I think I might actually add them on Sunday. Shh. Don't tell nobody, but I will announce it on Monday. So be on the lookout for that. And Cherry Blossoms, the third and last thing that we're going to get to for housekeeping is this right here. This right here. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. These are my savings challenge envelopes, you guys. These have sold out four times. Four times. In my Etsy shop this right here will be my last let me say this very clearly this right here will be my last restock these will be back in the shop on Monday as well and let me tell you I have a very limited amount of these and once they're gone they are gone forever okay cherry blossoms now that we have the housekeeping and announcements out the way let's get right into this monthly thinking funds update I already put in the month. We are closing out the month of March. Here are the categories that I will be tracking. Here are my previous totals. So when we close out February, this is how much I had saved in home, emergencies, internet, electric, health, my $5 savings challenge, birthday and school. And last month, closing out February, I had $815 saved. So I have my binders here on the side. And we're going to get right into it. So the first category I'm going to be updating or tracking or checking in is going to be home. Home has $60 last month. And now home has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 110, 20. So now we have 120 in home. And I'm just going to write that right here. Next is emergencies. And last month we had $210 in emergencies. Now, closing out March, I have a total of 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240, 245. Now I have $245 saved up in emergencies. The next category I'll be tracking is internet and internet had $120 last month. Now internet has 
110, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we have $130 in internet. Electric and internet, they get stuff with the same exact amount at the same exact time. So electric should have $130 as well. But we're going to count it just to make sure. 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Perfect. So electric now has $130. Next category is health that we're going to be tracking. Last month we had 140 in health. I think I did pull some money out of health, but let's just count it and see. 120, 30, 40. So we do have 140 in health again. I did pull money out. And that's why we're still at the same exact amount. Okay, so that is all I am tracking from this binder. This is my $5 challenge, which I did pull all the fives out and put it inside of a jar. So in order for me to remember how much I have saved in fives, I'm going to come over here to my savings challenge binder. Inside this binder, if you are not aware, there are 12 different challenges. This is the serious about saving. Okay, savings challenge binder. You can save over $10,000. There are 12 different challenges in this binder. So I'm just going to flip to the back to my $5 savings challenge. And closing out March, I had $95 saved. So I'm just going to add that over here. The next category I'm going to track is birthday. And that is inside of my daughter's binder. So let me open up her binder today, please today. All right. So let me open up her binder and what am I getting to birthday sis? You're going to birthday. All right. So last month she had $80 in birthday closing out March. She now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 35. So now my daughter has $135 saved in her birthday envelope. And the last category that I'm going to be tracking is school, which is right here, right here. So last month she had $30 in school. This month she has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. $40 in school and my daughter's school did some old funny old type of ish okay and I did not appreciate it all right so those are all the categories that I'm going to be tracking now let me just get my ting handy dandy calculator and let's punch some money um let's punch some money <laughs> let's punch some numbers so I know the math to this, but I'm just going to use the calculator just because. So this right here, your girl was able to add $60 for my home, my home sinking fund for emergencies. Oopsie. For emergencies, I was able to add a total of $35 dollars in the month of March for internet I was able to add ten dollars electric is the same exact way so that will get ten dollars as well next is health health just stay the same but it just stay the same well actually I did add money throughout the month to health but I also spent a little bit of money so it just balanced out to where it's the same exact amount which is cool with me I'm fine with that okay next is my five dollar savings challenge 
This month I have $95. Last month I have $55. That is a total of $40 added. Oopsie, it's supposed to be a plus sign. $40 added. Next is birthday. And I'm really trying to go ham or hard or, you know, go steady and fast, however you want to say it. But I'm really trying to max out this birthday fun. I am doing a birthday, um, a celebration challenge rather. And the celebration challenge is funding my daughter's birthday. For that challenge, it is a total of $500 that will be saved. My daughter's birthday is in June. So I'm really, really trying to speed up the process for this challenge. When I am stuffing the birthday category, you will now see me stuffing even more than I was before because I'm trying to max this out to $500 sooner than later. So last month we had 80 and this month we have 135. So that means I added $55 for the month. And then school, this month is 40, last month is 30. So that means I added $10 for the month. Okay, my Chubby Blossoms, so now I am going to tally up all of these totals to see how much I now have saved in my sinking funds. And then I'm going to tally up all of these totals to tell me how much I added for the month of March. Wow, $1,035? Let me punch these numbers one more again. Let me punch it one more again, boo, and make sure. Okay, let's see, 120. 120. Yep, I have $1,035 saved up. That is so freaking great. So now I am at $1,035. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't matter if you are just starting. It doesn't matter if you had to start completely over like I did. I had like $6,000 saved up, $5,000, $6,000 saved up. And I had to wipe out every single sinking fund, every single envelope and start from scratch. And it's okay. It is okay. Because look at this. Slowly but for surely, I am building it back up. Okay. So now let's see how much I added for the month of March. $815, $220 is how much I added to my sinking funds. So, why did I do my two like that? It's okay. So I have $220 that I added. And now in my sinking funds, I have a total of $1,035. One thing's for certain, two things for sure. Never, ever, ever count your girl out, okay? If you fall down or if you have a setback, always prepare yourself for an even bigger and better bounce back, okay? The New York's about to come out in me. You heard? <laughs> if, you are, if you are a real New Yorker, then you already know, okay? So right here it says notes, reminders, and victories. So let me just write a little, little pep talk note to myself. All right, Cherry Blossom. So I just wrote slow and steady always wins the race. Keep making myself proud. And I'm super duper proud, you know, Going through, um, going through a breakup, wiping out all of my funds, being a single mom, running a business by myself, all of those things are things that will make or break you. And as you see, your girl is showing up every single day. Your girl is showing up every single day. And baby, I'm being made over here. I am being made. So that is it for my sinking funds update. Let me know for those of you who do track your sinking funds every month. How much were you able to add in the month of March to your categories? Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I post a new video. If you want Cherry 2.0, the real, raw, and uncut version of me, then join the memberships and let's get into it. I have a lot, a lot 
to talk about, a lot to get to, a lot of exclusive content to give you, and so on for it. And of course, join the family, join the team, and hit that subscribe button because that is free and it won't cost you a thing. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye, Cherry Blossoms.